Let this serve as the easiest and clearest explanation of candlestick charts. If you trade anything, commodities, stocks, you have to understand candlestick charts because they are the x-ray and MRI of basic line charts. They paint a clearer pictures. They tell a better story about what happened in the price action during a specific time period. And also, it's really interesting to know that candlestick charts date all the way back to the 1800s. It was invented by Japanese rice merchants that were trying to follow the price movement of rice. In a few minutes, we're actually going to follow real life examples and follow real live charts and see how these candlestick patterns and how the candlesticks form. But before that, let's just cover a few of the basics. Candlestick charts have the ability to give a lot more information about price movement than simple line charts. So if we take a look here, this is what a cookie cutter bullish candlestick looks like. And this is what a cookie cutter bearish candlestick looks like. However, a line chart, it would just show the closing price. And when you connect those dots, what you get is a line chart. So if we take a look, the line chart does not really paint a clear picture of what has occurred during a specific time period. Now we're going to look at a real time chart to show how candlesticks form in real time. But first, let's cover some of the basics. So this is considered a bullish candlestick because it is green. This is considered a bearish candlestick because it's red. Candlesticks has five important indicators. They have the open, the close, the high, and the low. So the colored part is called the real body. This is the range between where the price started and where it ended during a specific time period. The color green means the price went up during that time period, and the color red means it went down during that time period. The shadows or wicks that you see here is simply black lines. That shows the highest and lowest price during that time period. So let's take a look at this candlestick right here. So let's see what happened. It's green, so we could tell that the price has moved up over this designated time period, which we will call one minute. So this candlestick chart represents one minute of price action. So it opened at $5 and it closed at $12, $7 higher than the open. However, during this time period, buyers were able to push it as high as $15, while sellers were able to push it as low as $2, but it closed at $12 and it had a $7 increase since the start of this time period. Conversely, a bearish candlestick that we see on the right here, it opened at $12, and before closing at $5, $7 lower than its open, it got pushed as high up as $15 by the bulls, and it dropped because the seller sold it as low as $2. Now, not all candlesticks are going to look like this. Let's say there's candlesticks that don't have a top or a bottom wick or shadow. What does that mean? Well, let's diagnose it. For this bullish candle here, it means that it opened at $5 and ran up to $12. However, during this time period, bears were actually able to sell it as low as $2 before it ran up all the way to $12. So you can say that bears or sellers gave it a really good shot at pushing the price down but the buyers won out and it closed $7 above the open. Conversely, over here on the bearish candlestick, we could see that it opened at $12 and it closed $7 below its open. However, the bulls were able to raise it all the way up to $15 before it closed at a loss of $5. So from the open of the close, it lost $7 and from its high to the close, it actually lost $10. And then finally, I want to show that the real body can really differ a lot. And sometimes you won't even have a real body. And that's something called a doji candle, which we'll cover in a few moments. But let's see and diagnose what happened here if you look on the left hand side of the screen. So the price opened at $5. We know it ran up because it's green, which means it's a bullish candle. And it closed at $7. $2 run up. However, during that time period, the sellers were able to drop the price as low as $2, and the bulls were able to raise the price as high as $12. But in this candlestick, and this candlestick alone, it's showing that there was uncertainty. It ran up really high, 
and it ran down really low. However, it closed relatively close to its opening. So the opening was $5 and the close was $7. So even though the bulls won, they didn't win by a lot here. And if we go to this real chart here, we can see that these are bearish candles. They have these shadows or wicks that designate the high and the low. And you could see that the bearish trend continued. And then the bears pushed it all the way down to about 59.58, but they were unsuccessful. And over here, we have a green bullish candlestick, which ran all the way up, and it actually doesn't even have any wicks or shadows. What does that mean on this candlestick? It means that the bulls were totally in control. It opened at 59.95, and it closed at 60.62. And at no point did it go below its open, and all that bulls did was ran it all the way up, and it closed at its peak. So this tends to be a very bullish momentum candlestick and as you can see the price did eventually keep going up before it reversed to the downside now we're going to cover candlesticks that look like this these are called doji candlesticks because they don't really have a real body so we took a look at the classical candlesticks that have a real body however there is something called doji candles and they have a horizontal line for a body which means you're not going to see a red or green color why because they opened and closed at the same time these doji candles are much more rare than the regular classical candles with a real body now let's take a look at the long legged doji as you can see, it looks like a plus sign where the open and close price is somewhere in the middle of the price range during that time period. What does this mean? This means that there was a lot of indecision. But if it comes after a strong bullish or bearish momentum, it can have important implications because it can mean that the bulls or the bears have run out of steam. So just looking at the long-legged doji without any context, you could see that the price ran up really high then the price ran up really low, but it closed where it opened because there was indecision. Now the gravestone doji, it also opens and closes at the same price. That's why it's a horizontal line through the price versus a green or red real body. The distinction though of a gravestone doji is that this line, price line, occurs closer to the lowest price during that price range, and it looks and resembles a gravestone. Now, when spotted at the resistance line, this can mean that an uptrend will be reversed to the downside. Now, we're going to take a look at what it looks like on a real chart and how it can signify it. But as you can see here, if it opened and it ran all the way up during this time period, but then the bears won out by pushing it all the way down and closing at the open. So you can see it tried to go real high but it completely failed and sank back down. And if it was an, on an uptrend and there was a lot of greenish bullish momentum, and then you see a gravestone doji, typically you would wait to see confirmation with some red candlesticks, but this is an indicator that potentially there's gonna be a reversal. Conversely, the dragonfly doji is a bullish reversal signal that the downtrend will reverse to the upside and it's especially significant if spotted near the support line. And so the basic way to remember dojis is that the open and the close is virtually identical. In a long legged, it happens towards the middle of the range of that specific time period. In a gravestone doji, it occurs near or at the lowest price of that time period and in a dragonfly doji it occurs near or at the highest price of that specific time period so if we take a look at an actual price chart and this was amc the day of me recording this it's actually interesting to see that we could see a couple examples of this so we see here that there is a dragonfly doji and it's occurring somewhere at the support level so that you see that there's a reversal everything was going red then we saw a dragonfly doji, it was confirmed by green candles, and the price rose up. And the same thing can be seen here. This can also be considered a dragonfly doji. Now over here, we could see a gravestone doji, and it occurs around the resistance line, which we can draw through $62 and around 30 cents. And this gravestone doji comes close to the resistance line, and there was a complete reversal. And you see a lot of 
bearish momentum following the gravestone doji and then if we look over here we can actually spot another instance of doji candles being helpful in signifying a reversal now this is interesting to point out during this downtrend there was one time period where there was indecision and we saw a long-legged doji now it's important to note that if you spot a doji candle in the middle of a range and not near the support or resistance line personally i never trade off that I just see it as momentary indecision and I kind of wait to see what happens next. And in this picture, you can see that it continued to be a downtrend. However, when this dragonfly doji occurred, and if we zoom out, we can actually see that it is kind of a past support line that it's following. There was a reversal and things stopped moving to the downside and reversed to the upside. And this is some examples to show that these doji candles, they actually do work. Candlesticks, they paint a clearer picture, not when looked at in isolation but when observed in context with what is happening with the momentum volume and other technical indicators such as support resistance trend lines etc it can be a really really helpful tool to spot likely reversals coming up ahead now remember nothing is a sure thing when it comes to trading but the objective is to have the odds in your favor by being able to read trading behavior and taking advantage of herd mentality remember these basic principles tend to be universal and if traders all over the world are using these technical indicators and basing decisions off of them then the price movement is likely to follow this candlestick pseudoscience now let's take a look in real time as the candlesticks form what it looks like so to not make this video painfully long i sped up a one minute candlestick chart by 350 percent so 18 seconds represents a minute so let's take a look at what's happening here with Tesla's chart. So as you can see, we have a bullish candle forming. Now there's a resistance that's at $601 and Tesla just passed that resistance. So it pushed right through it. The bulls are in control. You can see a really, really big real body. You can see that the bulls are trying to push the price even higher. Now the next minute started indecisive, but then the bulls are in control again. And it's a very bullish, lots of momentum. If you look down here, the volume is big, which is giving credibility to the movement. And we'll cover in a different video how to use volume in conjunction with candlesticks. Now, as you can see here in the next minute, now the bears are trying their best to push the price down. However, it is a bit of a battle. Let's see who wins out here. So we had two bullish candles, actually three bullish candles. Now we had a bit of a reversal in a red candle, but the bulls are still very much in control. And you see that the bullish momentum is still forming and going very, very strong. It's taking the stock to day highs at $603 now. Now the next candle continues to bring the stock price even higher. However, you could see that there is a very, very tall high shadow forming, meaning that the bulls are having a tricky time driving the price high because the bears are taking control. They're pushing it lower. We saw this in the previous candle as well. It went up here and it slowed down. Now you can see that there was a reversal. And this is not exactly a doji candle, but you can see that they were not able to push the price up. It went down and now there's a bit of a reversal. Now the price is starting to go down again. And so this is how it would look in real time. And you would also draw like ascending trend lines. You would have it charted out with support lines, resistance lines, you follow the volume. Bear in mind, there's so many candlestick chart patterns. Here's an example of a candlestick patterns cheat sheet. And this is by Sohil PKO. And you can see that there's so many different types of patterns that form type of candles doji candles bullish bearish candles when they're in context what it means will it likely be a bullish or bearish reversal will the momentum continue on a bullish trend bearish trend keep in mind this is all putting the odds in your favor, but it's never a sure thing. When you see one of these, it can't be, oh, 100%, I know what's going to happen. Nothing is 100% when it comes to the markets. Absolutely nothing. 
What this serves to do is hopefully give you some foundational knowledge so that when you watch other videos, you read technical analysis books, you look at technical analysis tutorials, you will remember some of the stuff that we learned here in this video and you'll be able to apply it. So you have the foundational knowledge and you'll be able to understand some of these advanced concepts that I may actually make videos on in the future. Now, the next time that it's somebody's birthday or it's your birthday and you're blowing out candles, please make a wish for a lot of bullish, high momentum candles in your investments and in your life. I appreciate you guys watching this. Please stay tuned for future tutorials and for my own personal investment journey. I'll be giving a lot of updates. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please comment, subscribe, like the channel. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next video.